everyone stop how are you doing so welcome everyone to national museum jamaica this is a division of the institute of jamaica and we're here at east street downtown Kumatown. oh thank you <laughs> it's cool in here all right so when you are here uh, there are four exhibitions at this part of the institute of jamaica so this is the ethnography section right the culture so we're learning about people all of that right so where we're standing right now uh, explores our african collection right so the institute has different collections um you have an african collection and it comes under the, the heading ubuntu so we're coming closer and we're looking at ubuntu we're looking at our beautiful masks that we have here so you have your senufa mask your dan mask it's a lovely way to look at diversity um, of Africa, right? So Africa is a continent of nations. And so there are tons of different um, artifacts that explores just that diversity. So we started our lovely mass that we have here um, and a narrative greets you um, looking at African retentions and just African identity, which is important for us to celebrate um, in a country like Jamaica, right? So Jamaica has done a very good job at that. Um, in affirming African identity, um, but there's so much more for us to learn, and that's the beauty of coming to the museum. So Ubuntu captures a lot of that. So lots of different artifacts here. Um, you can look at currency and the Yoruba people. Oh, let's look at that. So we have some beautiful ceremonial swords, um, aluminum panels, also the Ibeji dolls right there at the back. So it's a lovely way of looking if you're an art lover, if you're interested again in heritage and different ethnicities, right? Um, in Jamaica you can take your time, carry your children and look again at wonderful artifacts that we have here at the Institute of Jamaica. And guess what? This is just the first. So we're going now into Taino and for Taino, for Taino we're going to start with the opening panel for the Taino. So the word Taino is used um, to describe the indigenous, well not describe, the Tainos are the original inhabitants of Jamaica. And so, based on what they left behind, we can learn so much about the first group of people to call Jamaica home. And of course, other parts of the Caribbean share a similar history in terms of indigenous culture. So to learn about indigenous culture in Jamaica, this is a wonderful way to do just that. You can actually learn about different parts of our country that shares different um, elements of Taino um, legacy, such as Ligani, which is named after the iguana. And do check out that book for those of you who are literature lovers, The Lizards of Ligani. And it's available here at the Institute of Jamaica. So we look at our artifacts right here in the center, things like of our petroglyph, persons might find it very interesting. Of course, lots of literature um, for persons to read in their own time. Uh, and of course, a lot of it is reimagining um, what it would have been like um, had Tainos been alive in numbers. We don't want to say that the Tainos have all died. Um, their blood obviously still runs through us as Jamaicans, um, but it's what they represent in our history that is even more important, right? Um, and so uh, we learn and we can look again at the mystery of artifacts that we have here that have been collected over the many years and found at different parts of our country. So we're going to look at Another section at earthenwares, at zemis, at burial rituals, afterlife. But we end at this point by looking at the Spanish, one of the saddest parts um, of our heritage for that period of time is of course the invasion of our country by the Spanish who came to find their El Dorado 
and made persons sacrifices for uh, wealth and of course gold which they did not find well <laughs> maybe <laughs> not in the quantity that they wanted all right there's still a little mystery that there's gold in jamaica what do you think